All right, guys, it's Friday, and it is pretty chilly out. Well, not too chilly, somewhat. There you guys go. You guys can read that. It's about 45 out. Looks like 11 Celsius. And, uh, yeah, friggin'. Whoa, you gonna focus? Come on, you can do it. I've seen you do it before. There you go. So, my buddy Bill there, he called me up this morning. I was gonna go pick up some tractors. And I guess he had some family emergencies, something like that, so I can't freaking go up and get a couple of tractors or something. So, I guess we're out of work for a few days anyway. Um, but I figured since uh, I got nothing better to do with the next few days, I'm gonna, uh, I got two things which I'm gonna be doing. Uh, this window, let's see. One, we have that Burns tractor there. Well, a um, few you guys been telling me to restore it, some of you guys been telling me to fix it, this, that, and the other thing. Well, I'm not going to restore it. I'm not going to, well, I'm kind of sort of going to fix it. Um, I'm going to put the parts that go on this thing on it, so that way it looks complete, because no one's freaking buying it. So, people seem to think I don't have all the parts for some reason. So I'm gonna get a couple bolts. I'm gonna bolt some shit onto that thing later on this weekend. Um, gonna bolt the fenders on, the seat spring, the grill. Uh, what else we got in here? We got a couple of uh, chrome pieces, a belt guard, and a few other things. And I will just throw them on there just to make them look pretty. Um, I mean, uh, I would like to restore it, but that thing just. Let's go take a look at it. That thing needs a fucking lot of work. Again, it would make a good romping tractor, but there's no place to romp. I live in the city. So. Yeah. Just got my corner. I pushed that over a little bit. So yeah, this is what we're looking with. Yeah. Yeah, it needs a lot of work, guys. It needs a gas tank. It needs a lot of friggin' shit to be done. But I'll see what I can do. Just uh, do the best I can by putting some shit on it. Making it look pretty, I guess. Um, but today I'm mainly going to work on the... Uh, I'm gonna drag a couple of them push lawnmowers out and possibly possibly that little small rototiller that's in there. And uh, we'll drag some of them out. Maybe start working on some of them. Um, we got in the shed. Well, tarp sham anyway. We got the uh, Murray still here that didn't sell yet. My house fire and keeping that. Uh, this MTD snowblower. No one wants to buy it. My Toro power shift, that's good. I still gotta pick up my other Toro power shift. I gotta pick that up. Um, that's some of the snow blowing and stuff like that, so I gotta pick that up later on in the year. Oh, looks like we got something living underneath there. Anybody home? Um, sold that bike that was in here, that old vintage thing, last night. My dad, so we get rid of that thing. I want to get rid of this bike next. It's a pretty decent looking bike. I think I only used it probably, I don't know, maybe 30 times if that. So, if anyone wants to buy a bike, now's your time. But, um, what do we got in here? Nothing much, really. Just a bunch of shit. Someday we're going to finish up the Hawn. I want to do that this summer. Finish that thing up. Again, the only reason why I stopped is because I kind of sort of ran out of money. Cost a lot to redo that thing. Holy, like, I wasn't quite expecting that. I think it was somewhere, I'm somewhere in like the six hundred dollar range now with that Han. Maybe five hundred, maybe a little bit less. But the paint on it, fuck, that cost. Paint job on that Han cost me right around at least about one hundred and seventy dollars in paint. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, about that. And I got the decals. Shit, no, it was even more than that. Fuck. It was $210 in paint, I think, just for that thing. 
And the high, the tires in the back, I think, were like uh, 125 and the tires in the front were like 30 bucks for the set, and there's a few other things on there, so. It was a pretty expensive build back there, but it's still there. And you can sort of see the back of it. I gotta get the motor going again. Friggin' the motor recoil snapped on it a while back, so I gotta get that going. But that's a summertime project. Not right now. So, yeah, not really much going on here. Anyone need a tire? Or a tire? Or that tire? Or that one? Or those two? Or those two on the bike? I don't know. Or a hood? Or a yardman bag or a seat? You got a few of those laying around. I'll show you guys scrap my corner now. Check out scrap metal corner, we're starting to get organized. We got friggin' straight copper in that one, straight aluminum in that one, you know, miscellaneous copper wires, and then we got a couple of uh, resistors and motors. I got another motor somewhere in here, electric motor. So I'll eventually have to find that somewhere in that pile. But uh, yeah, I can move that thing out of there too. Yep, so we got going on. Um, should be right now friggin' packing up the snowmobiles and going to uh, wherever to go snowmobiling, but no, 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 no. Mother Nature freaked over the program again. But, uh, yeah, so I guess I'll pull those uh, couple of push mowers in and we'll start tinkering around with them and see what they need. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a push mower day, I think. But, uh, how about that friggin' one pog life friggin' rollover? Holy shit. You never know what you're gonna expect on that guy's friggin' channel. One day, you see Nelson. Next day, you see him friggin' rollover. I swear to God, I thought today's build, uh, well, actually, I thought today's video, well, last night's video was gonna be about Buddy there jumping the piano jump. No, 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 Buddy rolls his car. <laughs> like, you just... Don't see that on anyone else's channel. <laughs> but, um, yeah. What a freaking wreck that is. I bet you that car is freaking totaled. Gotta be totaled, you know. But, alright, let's drag those uh, sons of bitches in and we'll start working on them. Find out what they need and stuff. Alright, so here's the uh, three victims of the day. We get the Swan Crossfin MRS Key Start, uh, self propelled push mower, and we got this Toro Recycler. It's the uh, GTS model, Key Start as well. Got the little batteries in it, there's a battery pack right there, and there's one right there. Then we got the little uh, Weed Eater Honda Part Troy Belt Rototiller. So, yeah, that's what we got. I still got one more push more underneath the deck, but I'll wait for right now. I'm still digging that thing out of things way back there. But uh, these things do run. These two do run. Uh, I am going to do the carbs off anyway just to clean them up. Uh, thinking about keeping probably this Crossman and selling my uh, my Cub Cadet. and the Cub Cadet, one of those MTD pieces of shit back there. And it's not self-propelled, it's just pushing different things. So I think I might keep this craftsman for myself. Um, as long as that, I found this bagger. Well, actually, someone gave me a lawnmower a while back. I have this bagger, so I'm going to see if that thing will fit. It's possible it'll fit. Yeah, that, sh that should fit. So I'll pop that on and see if it fits or not. If not, then, oh well. But, uh, yeah, just uh, doing it day by day. I'm going to get a... I'm not gonna put this thing together because I don't have parts for it. I gotta get parts for it. Um, I'm gonna end up keeping this one for myself as well, just because I I don't have a small one. I just have the big, big, gigantic ones. So I figure this will be good for uh, springtime, you know, or summertime, whatever. But by the way it's looking, I'm gonna need um, looks like it's some kind of overhead valves or something like that. So I gotta get a Two new, or maybe one new push rod. Uh, some of the valves aren't stuck or anything. Yeah, they seem pretty good, so we'll, we'll look at it. I'll order some parts up for this thing maybe later on today. Um, sky compression turns over. So, 
It's all good. And I got the other little parts right here. Got a little baggie full. There's the valve cover, a couple of nuts and bolts, and different things. So, yeah. Oh, wow, that's pretty wild. Is this a four stroke? No, this can't be a four stroke, can it? Yeah, it is actually. Well, maybe that's you put. I don't know, I have to read up on that. What the hell the deal is with this? It can't be a four stroke, could it? Although it does kind of look like a four stroke, but it's got like a two stroke son of a bitch on it. I don't know, maybe you put two stroke oil in there and it drips down. Hmm. Huh. There is something. It says oil on it, so yeah, maybe. It says oil. I don't know, I'll have to look into it. Maybe it is a four stroke son of a bitch. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, four stroke right in front of me, duh. Wow. <laughs> you guys are probably like, duh, fucking look over on the damn signal. <laughs> but uh there we go. Solve one mystery, four stroke. Now we know. But uh yeah, so I'll get some of these things going today. I already know they run, but I'll do the curbs on them anyway and for things like this, let's get the uh, TV going. I think Orange County Choppers is possibly on right now. One of my favorite shows right next to Top Gear. Alright, let's see. Is it on? What do we got that's on Fox right now? So we need 39. Let's see. Oh, LA Inc. That's not a bad show either. There it goes, just thought I should give you guys a quick little update on what we got going on now. Friggin' everything's all done, this the curb's done. Uh, I gotta get an air filter probably for it, and it just got done draining the oil, I gotta put the new oil in. Um, this battery holds the charge and works fine, everything, so that's pretty good. It drives okay, you know, but my bagger here, it didn't fit, so, figures. Whatever. I'm um, on to this thing. So, this thing, uh, the battery is completely drained. Um, they want like thirty-one dollars, maybe thirty bucks, something like that, uh, for a new battery. So I think I'm gonna pass on that deal, considering I'm only gonna really sell this thing for a hundred bucks with the starter. So I think I'll screw it. Um, just doesn't make sense to put money into it if you can't only get so much. You know, next owner can buy the uh, battery, but I do have the bagger for it, which is sweet. So yeah. But it's a nice little mower, so I'm going to like it. You can use it as just a regular pull mower, not a key start. Unless they want to get a battery for it and they can pay $31 for it and then like $12 for shipping. Now for this thing. So, as you guys may remember just a few minutes ago there in the video. Uh, I was checking out the, uh, the, the valves and different things. So, I was like, oh, okay, then no, 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 this one here was a little, uh, let's get the light in here, so you guys can see. Alright, so, hopefully this will help you out seeing a little better. So, as you can see, there is a missing son of a bitch there, should be one right there. That one there is just completely missing. Um, what ended up happening was, I just tapped it with the hammer, just a teeny, teeny bit, and just went tap, 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 and then the next thing you know, the thing wouldn't come back out. It's like, oh, alright, let me get a little penetrating fluid. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Spray a little bit on there. No, 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 no. Didn't work. So then I was like, okay, let me uh, try to use a screwdriver. Use a screwdriver thing for again. It's it's stuck in there. So I was online. I was trying to find parts for this thing, and I can't even freaking find parts for it. So that's awesome. I was looking right there. You guys can see the model number. It's so way back in there, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to check that out. I've already looked for a whole motor, see maybe if I can get a whole nother motor for it. I'm thinking maybe, you know, 50 bucks, something like that. It would be a good investment. No, 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 they all want like 150 for a new motor. So I was like, uh, I think I'll pass on that deal. Um, so I think I'm going to try. If I can get this son of a bitch out, it, it, it'll work, but... I don't know. She's looking pretty sketchy, boy. So I'm going to give her a go. I'm going to try reaming on her. Maybe we can pull her out. If not, then time for the scrap here in the sky. 
All right, well, I tried a few sons of bitches now, and that fucker just will not come out. It's like, it's in there. So, I tried the, uh, vice grips didn't work, channel locks didn't work, and then a pair of little cutters, thinking I could just grip the end of it with the nice little blades there. Didn't work, so I think I'm just going to screw it. Uh... Probably just save the recoil on it, possibly the carburetor, and uh, I don't really see much else that I really need to keep. Maybe that kill switch, because that's a nice little switch, but can't save them all. I might, uh, what I might do is I might, if possible, uh, eh, probably not. I'm just going to try and save the block and just scrap it, you know cast aluminum but nope don't think that's gonna happen son of a bitch probably just save the recoil though first of all I'll do is save the recoil save the carburetor and just junker that sucks but uh yeah so I'm gonna finish putting this thing back together I gotta do an oil change on this thing sharpen the blade to get the blade for the craftsman over here I'm just gonna put that on and we'll be pretty much all set so, way she goes, way she goes. Alright, well I couldn't get the blade off of this thing for the life of me, but holy, got off a little bit of propane heat, and she's finally off. That thing was a bitch to get off, like, I couldn't believe it. But alright, now I got the oil draining on this thing. Uh, I don't know what the deal is with it yet, I might keep it, might not, I don't know yet, you never know. But, um, yeah, this thing here is almost all done. I just got to put a new plug into it, new spark plug, a new air filter. And when this thing got to do oil, this thing still got a lot to do. But, um, yeah, it's getting there. And I figured since I'm doing oil changes and such, I might as well do an oil change on the, on the Brute, the Walmart, uh, freaking power washer. I gotta say, guys, this is a nice power washer. But, um... I figured what I was doing on here, because it's, I know for a fact, oh, yeah, yeah, so it'll be the first, uh, oil change ever on this thing, I guess, because I bought this thing last spring, I'd say, um, what I might do is once I get this thing done, and that thing done, is I'm going to bring one more push mower in here, uh, it's, it's pretty, I'm not really sure really what the deal is with it, I got it over the winter, I'm like all these things, just came with a package deal I got, and um, I don't know what the deal is with it, so I'm going to take a look at it, I have a feeling it's going to need a valve job, and, and if it is, I'm just going to pull some parts off of it and scrap it, because there's no sense in doing a valve job on a freaking push mower, so yeah, so I'll drag that out a little bit and see what it needs, uh, I do actually have a whole nother motor, if I do need to put a motor on, I got a motor sitting in the shed too, it's a Craftsman, it's a red one. And it looks something like uh, that black one over there. So, I'll have to wait and see. But, we'll take it uh, slowly but surely. So, we'll let this thing drain. I'm going to let the, uh, I'm gonna start on the blade over there. And, uh, yeah, camera's at a complete angle. Holy. Alright, we got the uh, oil change in that thing. So, that's all done. Oil change in that thing. Somewhat all done. Somewhat all done. Getting ready to bring in this other cross and push more I got. So we're gonna see what it needs. It's just a Crossman DLM rear 21 drive there, cut it 22 well, 21 inch cut drive, and it's got the rear drive. So we'll see what this thing needs. I know something's up with this motor, so we'll have to wait and see. Looks like it's got a Tecumseh motor on it. But if worse comes to worse, if I need to uh if I need to change the motor, that won't be a big deal. I have one right out in the shed anyway, so we'll have to wait and see. But, uh, man, I freaking trashed this place today. Oh, yeah. Get the orange kind of choppers going. Different things like that, and they already argued. Now they're kissing, making up. What do you know? Well, guys, I think I'm done for the day. Ah, uh, friggin', we got a... Quite a little mess on the ground, I'm about to show you in about a minute. 
So there's a little tiny uh, gas leak coming out of the uh, gas tank and the carburetor didn't quite really realize. Uh, so I decided, you know, light my torch. All of a sudden, whoosh! Friggin' lawnmower catches fire. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was uh, it was something else. I tell you that. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, friggin' everything is just uh, covered in the chooch. Um, it wasn't a big fire. I was like, oh, all right, it's just a small fire. So I was only gonna use the fire extinguisher just just a little bit. Well. I had a little problem with my fire extinguisher. I ripped off the cap, pulled it out, I'm thinking, you know, maybe you can just go, pssst, done. Next thing you know, this thing gets stuck. The thing's on like full automatic, full force coming out. I was like, whoa, I didn't need to use that much there, bud. So, yeah, I think there's like that much left in it. <laughs> like, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I only wanted to use a little bit. But, we got her. We got her out, the only reason why I had her up was, well, this mower's got a bent crank. So, I was, uh, tempting to I'll show you what I was doing underneath before I caught freaking fire. You can even see his smoke stains. <laughs> oh, still a little warm. Holy shit. Alright, so I was underneath here and... Wow. <sighs> Pretty warm. But, um, I can't even use my... Phew, it just stinks underneath there. I can't use the motor that I have, so I'm just gonna have to scrap this lawnmower, I guess. So, it's got like one of them stupid size shafts with a stupid little tapered son of a bitch on it, so I can't even use it. So we'll have to, uh, we'll just have to scrap it. I'll just pull a few parts off of it, ones that didn't catch fire, you know, that kind of thing. There it goes, as you can see, we got the uh, shop all re-cleaned up, put back together. It's uh, starting to rain out a little bit. But, uh, yeah, freaking holy. Like, that's only the second fire we've had in the shop. And I've been doing five, four, about five years, four and a half, maybe, years now. And it's kind of ironic, too, because just... Last year around this time is when we had our other fire when the uh, we brought in the Crossman tractor It was right there. The door used to be right there. I was working on it PJ was working on something else. I think it was a power washer at the time and um, There's a slow leak in the gas tank. I didn't know about turn the key whoosh. But I think this one this one uh, topped that one that's for sure because there's definitely a little bit bigger fire but I wasn't expecting that the fire extinguisher son of a bitch thing would get stuck. I don't even know how this thing could get stuck. Like, there's nothing that grips it. There's no son of a bitch to stop it, you know? It just, you hold it, and next thing you know, the thing gets stuck. So I imagine that little brass piece on the top must have got stuck or something. This thing's brand new, too. I bought it probably a week after I put this thing in. So... I guess I'll need to get a new one because we're on empty. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> like I only wanted a little bit, you gave me all of it. Freaking couldn't believe it. But now it's working too. Like you press it, it's like whoot, whoot, whoot. like it must have been like overcharged or something. Yeah, it had to have been like overcharged. I don't know what the deal is, but I wasn't quite expecting that. Holy, but anyway guys, we are done for the day. And uh, we're gonna wash these things up tomorrow. We'll pretty much call her a day. So, on that note, don't uh don't let your shop catch on fire and don't roll your mini cooper. This is the tip of the day, I guess. Holy.